Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing a planner from the Ashley Shelley Planner. And I've already taken a peek so I kind of have an idea of the layout of the planner um, and some of the the things that are in it, but I haven't like really sat down and like super looked through it. So we're going to do that together today and I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. So let's do it. Okay, so I just have my mini happy planner right here because my address and information is here. So I don't want to broadcast that. And I'm sorry if you guys hear my cat. I'm going to try and get her meowing in this video as little as possible but she's in a mood today and I don't know what's going on like I've tried everything and she just will not stop so bear with me on that um so I'm gonna go ahead and slip this over here and voila it's open so I thought this was so cute there's like a little sour patch kid in here and I've been so tempted to eat it, but I kind of just stuck it in here and was like, I cannot eat it until I show you guys how cute. So this little Sour Patch Kid was in here, and this card was actually like inside with the planner, but I didn't put it back there. But it's just a little, um, a little postcard. It says, create your best days. It's so cute. And then there is uh, some information there. You can read at your leisure. If you pause <laughs> so there's this purple tissue paper that's on top of it the packaging is so nice because a tissue paper just makes everything look cuter especially when it's lavender and B it's in the like thick bubble wrap so yeah it's super secure and like it's like not gonna be like shifting around in here and um, it's not going to get all beat up and stuff in in the post <laughs> on, on its way to you. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And I will be donating this bubble wrap to my child <laughs> who's obsessed with bubble wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. It's in like a thick plastic cello. And oh, it's so pretty. Excuse my desk. Like, it just keeps getting dirtier and dirtier, and I clean it. I swear I do. And I don't know what happens. Like, it's just like, I don't even know what all this stuff is. What, what is happening here? I don't, that's like sticky something that's stuck on there forever. So I apologize. Um, but there are a few different um, cover options for this planner, and it's a 2019 12 month planner. And this one does have a. Uh, silver coil but this cover actually comes in rose gold as well which is really gorgeous but um this was my favorite cover i'm just a sucker for florals a sucker for florals i really appreciate that the corners here have these um like metal um what do you even call these like corner things i don't know metal details um because if you're going to be using this for an entire year taking it around with you it is like a um like a cardboard cover it's really like thick and sturdy but still over time the corners can tend to get a little frayed and worn and this will prevent that which is really nice so your planner will be looking nice and fresh the whole year so you go ahead and you open it up and it has this laminated pouch here which is really handy um, if you're the kind of person who takes your planner on the go puts it in your purse you throw like random papers, flyers, receipts and stuff in your planner. Um, this is really handy for that. You also have a clear pouch here, but I, I like that you also have the side pocket because if you're like really quick on the go, you don't want to keep having to like open this and stuff. This is, in my personal opinion, this kind of pouch is more for like stickers and things like um, things that you don't want to like go anywhere. You want to be nice and secure. Um, but this does come with some stickers. <clears throat> and these are really nice. These are like, um, on like this, like, I don't even know. 
some kind of vinyl. It's not regular, like, it's not like a regular glossy sticker paper, although it is glossy, but it's more like a thin vinyl, I'd say. I'm not sure, but it's cool. And I, I don't know, there's something about the texture of it that I really like. So you get a lot of icons here. You get some hearts, some stars. The bows are really cute. You got two date nights, an anchor, a bunch of little money icons, some scissors, vacay, some little doctor, cross thingies, um, birthdays, um, filming clapper things. There's a name. I'm spacing. Uh, some grocery carts. So you get a sheet of those. Those are really nice. And then you, of course, have the little pouch, which just seals back up. You just pinch it together. And there you go. Whoops. So then on the front of the planner, you have a little space to write your name. And then you open it up, and it says Planner Tips from Ashley. I haven't read this yet, so let's go ahead and take a look together. Uh, hi there. There's a little introduction. It tells you what's inside. When I said read, I meant skim. <laughs> because this is going to take forever if I read everything. Like, I think that the quality is probably going to be good enough that if you really wanted to read it, you could pause the video on this right here and read it. Um, let's see. Perforated corners. That is something that I notice and I really like is all of the corners in this planner are perforated. So you finish a day. Like, you, you might not necessarily do it on these. I mean, you totally could if you wanted to, but... Um, it's mostly so that once you finish like a page or a week or whatever, when you've done filling out like this page, you'll like rip this corner off. So then when you open your planner, all of these corners will be gone. You know what I mean? Maybe I should zoom you in for this. So all of these corners will be gone. So then you can just like stick your finger in the space, like the empty space, and then like, um, I don't think a lot of planners these days have this. Ooh, wrong way. Um, but I know when I used to like look at my grandpa's like old agendas and stuff, all of them like the more like the less fun, more office-y type agendas will tend to have these also. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, like I like it though. I think it's a good idea. It's nice and handy. Um, you could totally use a bookmark in here if you wanted to. Um, you could get like a, like a square hole punch or like a square, you know what I mean? Coil punch thing like that. And then you could uh, cut slits into it so it could pop in and out. But um, this makes it so that that's not necessary if you don't want to do that. So let's see. One of the key parts... Oh yeah, okay. I'll I'll talk about the creative spreads when we get to it, but I noticed that and it was really cool. So you have a 2019 inspiration board. Write, draw, and tape all of the inspiration here for the year ahead. And I think this is such a great idea. You can create your own like mood board for the year or create like a little page based on your word for the year or just stick pictures of like important people to you. You can do all kinds of things with this page and you can just like flip back to it if uh, someone's texting me Rude. um you can just flip back to it when you need a little bit of inspiration or something to lift your spirits there is a page for important contacts and then i thought this was a really cool idea i've never seen this in like a, just a regular planner before i don't know I don't think I have. Mm -mm. I thought this was really cool. Uh, there's favorite meal ideas and then it gives you space for breakfast, lunches, and dinners because let's get real, most of us eat the same like 12 meals <laughs> and we just rotate through them. So this is nice if you're like going grocery shopping and you don't know what you want to eat for the week. You can go through here and just like, oh yeah, this I really like this because sometimes I really, like I'll find a meal that I really like and I'll eat it a whole bunch, and then I'll get sick of it, and I won't eat it for a couple weeks. But then when I want to switch up my meals again, I'll completely forgot, for, completely have forgotten what that meal was that I loved a couple weeks ago. If this is making any sense at all. But I think this is a great idea. So then you have a 2019 planning overview. It's just pretty much, you know, the basic, like, year at a glance. You can write whatever you want in here. Birthdays, 
um, like future plans, um, I don't know, reading lists, tracking, all kinds of different things. So many things you could do with that. A yearly overview for 2019 and 2020. 2019 holidays, which that's super handy because there's so many like random holidays in here. Like, I don't know, I always forget when Mother's Day is, when Father's Day is like Grandparents Day, Labor Day. I never remember those like the smaller like holidays that I don't know. I just never remember when they are. Not enough space in my brain. This is the monthly view. Let me zoom you out a little bit so it's easier to see. So it all fits in the frame. This is the monthly view. You get a December um, monthly view. In the February monthly view you have a little space on the side for notes. And then in the monthly view every box is lined which I think is really handy especially if you're not the kind of person who's going to be using stickers or like label stickers and stuff in your monthly view uh, so that you know everything you're writing in there is going to look good it's going to be straight the lines I feel like are really handy for those of us who have trouble writing straight sometimes um, and then this I don't know I just feel like this guarantees that your spread is gonna look good you can like scribble in things in here and it's still gonna be nice and spaced out evenly and straight I like that and then this is like the creative board thing that the um, first page was talking about so create the life you love in January and you have a little space for what are you grateful for right now what are you worried slash stressed about right now what can you do to remove your stress? You know what it is. Uh, what creates happiness in your life that you want to do more of this month? What are you going to say no to this month? Imagine your month ahead. Write a few words that describe how you want to feel this month. Monthly goals and then a little yay right here so when you check it off. A monthly bucket list. Um, it could totally be any kind of list, like you could cover this up. It doesn't have to be a bucket list, but I think that a bucket list is a good idea. Um, your word of the munch, munch? <laughs> I must be hungry. Your word of the month slash mantra. And I don't know if I'm going to have a word of the month. I have a word of the year, which I've never had a word of the year before. So it's a little strange to me, but I need to get things together. Like 2019 needs to be... <laughs> a lot more organized than my past years have been so far so I need to get my stuff together which I think this is this is a good way to do it so then you have a couple notes pages I like oh this is interesting so you have one the page over here on the right is like the lines go all the way across oh, I keep moving this I'm sorry and then on the left you have two columns that's handy dandy so you could totally like write any kind of notes here and you could write lists here so handy and then this is the weekly view and then up at the top it gives you a space to write your monthly word which is really nice so you can just have it right there at the top of your week you don't have to keep flipping back you always know what it is I didn't know people did monthly words maybe I should do that have like a sub word for every month no I feel like I feel like I did know people did that because didn't Heidi Swap do that for this year I don't know so then at the top you have a space for notes again and then I really like how this is set up um, the so it's it's like a horizontal it's like a vertical within a horizontal it's very interesting so each day has a block that goes horizontally but then inside each day you kind of have two blocks inside the day so you have this space right here that you can use I mean you could use it for any kind of checklist if you wanted but it has spaces for times which I like that the times are not already written in um, it's one of the problems that I have with uh, hourly planners is they never start early enough and they never end late enough maybe I just don't sleep enough but I like that you can write in your own times here and then write the uh, event or the task or you know what something you have due or whatever um, you can write all that in right there and then you have a to-do list so you have one two three four five six little checklist areas you have a space right here it says due today um, you could easily cover that up with something if you wanted to just continue 
continue the checklist. Um, but if you're in school, um, that is going to be really handy for you. Or if you um, have deadlines for uh, the company that you work for, or if you're self-employed and you make your own deadlines and you want to remember, like, this needs to be done today, like, that's helpful. And then it has a space to write dinner, um, which I think is really helpful. I don't full-on, like, meal plan, because it just gets too complicated with everybody in my house, like, ends up eating something different, and it just, it gets all complicated, so I kind of plan out roughly the meals we're going to have for the week, and then I let them be interchangeable, and I kind of decide what we're going to have for dinner, like, a few hours before. <laughs> so I could totally figure out like earlier on in the day if I realize what I want to make I can write that down really quick so that I don't forget later because I have done that before I've like I've I've asked my husband before oh what do you want to eat for dinner and then like three hours later I completely forget what he told me or that I even asked him and I didn't get anything out to thaw and he's like well I told you and I'm like whoops my bad so all of the weekly layouts are like that, which I feel like this is a unique layout. I've never seen a planner that's laid out quite like this, like within the days. I like it. So then everything is the same and there's nothing, there's no fluff in between the months. Like there's no extra note pages. It's all like um, at the beginning of the month, which I actually really like that it's at the book. Whoa. that it's at the beginning of the month I feel like I'd be a lot more likely to fill it out and like use it if it's at the beginning of the month I mean I know this sounds really weird because it it, it shouldn't make a difference of whether or not it's like here or here but I feel like it does because by the time the month is over like I get to the end of the week then I, for I always forget that there's like a notes thing here stop it and then I never use it so I feel like having it at the beginning of the month is really nice but because there is nothing like between here there's no like patterned like divider page you know what I mean like in the Erin Condren where um you have like the the month like the divider tab page has like a design on the front you don't have that in here which I honestly don't feel like is necessary it's cute to have it but it's not necessary I mean honestly it's not so then I go all the way through to December get to the end of it so there is oh it's just thick there are some more note pages. The only thing about these perforated corners is because when they perforate them, I'm assuming they use some kind of like die that pushes all of the pages down at once, um, or at least a lot of them at once. Uh, some of them tend to stick. So if you want to utilize the corners and you don't want them to get ripped off prematurely, when you separate the pages, just be a little bit careful. Um, I, ha I haven't had any like rip or tear or anything. It's pretty easy to pop them apart, but um, that is just something you should probably be a little careful of if you want to utilize the uh, little corner system there. So you get a, quite a few notes pages. Like a, ooh, you get like a lot of notes pages in there. I always hate when you get a planner. Like this is one thing that I didn't like about the Happy Planner, which is kind of, I mean, ridiculous that it, that it bothered me, but whatever, um, is that when you get to the end of December, you flip the page over and you literally just have the back of the last week of December. That's your note page. And then you go to the cover. <laughs> I like that there's a lot of note pages back here um, because I do actually use the note pages in the back of my Erin Condren for things. So I appreciate that. And then you get to the back cover. Yep. And you just have the same pattern as the front on the back with the little Ashley Kelly down here and says create your best days so I really like this planner and I am 100% going to be using it in 2019 I need to kind of figure out my planner system for next year because it is literally December 31st and I have not figured it out I've ordered a couple planners that I'm going to be using because you guys know I use a bazillion um but 
this is definitely going to be going into um, my 2019 planner lineup. And um, I do have, let me go ahead and find it really quick. Let me just be right back. Uh, I just started getting like one of those like headaches you get in your eyebrow. Has anybody ever gotten one of those? It's the most annoying thing ever. Ugh but the show must carry on. Okay, so what I was looking for, I had to go through my email to find it so I could make sure that I had the right code in my brain. Um, but this planner was sent to me by uh, the owner of this company who is Ashley Kelly. Shelly, my name is Kelly. Oh man, brain, cooperate please. <laughs> Ashley Shelly. And she has very generously given me a coupon code to share with you guys for $5 off your purchase of a 2009 Signature Ashley Kelly Planner um, at Ashley... I did it again. Ashley Shelley. I'm so sorry. <laughs> AshleyShelley.com. I will put a link in the description box down below. You guys can use code Kelly5. So K-E-L-L-I-5, the number five. Uh, for five dollars off your purchase of a planner and that expires on January 31st of 2019. So if you guys are interested in this planner I would definitely suggest going to check out her website and take advantage of the five dollars off because I don't I just think this is a great planner and if I know there's a lot of people who watch my channel that don't plan or like the idea of planning but just like all the stickers and stuff just overwhelms them and I totally get it um I'm a super crafty person and have been forever so all the sticker stuff it just comes totally naturally to me like using stickers and things and being excessive about it but I know there's a lot of people who either just don't have the time don't want to deal with it don't want to spend the money on stickers but they want to plan and they want it to be really like functional I feel like this is a great great planner for functionality um like just purely functional like planning you could totally use stickers in here too like you can use stickers in any planner but this is a great planner for those of you who are watching my channel but don't totally get or don't want to dive into the whole sticker realm this is perfect so I would highly suggest this planner or if you are like a sticker planner but you also want something that could totally just be for list just like purely functional that you could take around with you because I know a lot of people are scared to take their like Erin Condren around with them because it's like all their like pretty spreads are in it if something happens to it like they would just be like this is a little a little um exaggerated but just be devastated like I would hate to lose my Erin Condren you guys that would be like so bad I'd be so sad but Anyway, this is a great planner, super functional. Use code Kelly5 to get $5 off your purchase of a 2019 planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!